Dear students, welcome to Help TV. In this lecture, we will discuss MATLAB simulation of connecting the wind farm with AC grid using HVAC transmission. So let's start it. First of all, in this system, we will use wind farm. You can search this wind form as doubly furred induction generator. Doubly furred induction generator. It has built in doubly, uh, doubly furred induction generator. And the inputs of this wind form are wind speed. How much wind speed? When wind speed increase, speed of the blade increase and power generated from the wind turbine increased. So wind speed is 15 meter per second. The output of the wind turbines are DC voltage, energy, power, real power per unit and reactive power per unit. This is the bus bar that used to basically show the different values of the wind turbine and the power generated from the wind turbine is 4 megawatt each wind turbine. We, we use in this wind form 25 wind turbines. So total power is 25 multiplied by 4 100 megawatt power is generated from this wind form and voltages from the output of this wind form is just filter out the ripples using the reactive uh, line reactor. Line reactor is basically used to remove the ripples from the voltages and this is the basic fault analysis at the end we will discuss how what are the different types of the faults in power systems and how we handle them and this bus bar is basically used to measure the three phase voltages when you double click on this bus bar this block shown the VBC, VA BC means three phase voltages in IABC that are shown here generated voltage. Next transformer is used. This transformer converts the 2500 volt into 132 kV. Why we convert into high voltages because of the transmission purpose because low voltage can't be transmitted. If we transmit low voltages, there are many losses in HVAC transmission. That's why we transmit high voltages through transmission lines. And this is basically another fault, uh, fault analysis, three phase faults or phase to phase faults. We can analyze using this three phase faults. And here we will uh, cut 132 kV and this 132 kV is transmitted to AC grid. AC grid is basically 9 bus power system that shown here. This is 9 bus power system and before fed into the AC grid ju let's uh, just convert the 132 kV into 220 kV. using the transformer. Transformer is 60 megawatt transformer. Is, uh, MVA transformer is used here. 60 MVA transformer is used here. And this scope is basically used to show the 132 kV voltages. And this is the basic 9 bus, IEEE 9 bus power system. Okay. This is the basic system that uh, how we transmit the wind power to transmission lines to AC grid. But there are many problems in HVAC system like reactance losses, skin effect losses and uh, 
corona losses so we cannot transmit power for long distances using the hvac transmission in next next lecture we will discuss how we uh, how we reduce these losses using another type of the transmission system and this is basically scope that uh, used to show different parameters of this system like generation voltages is shown here reactive and active power of the uh, wind farm is shown here we can, you can show uh, double click on this and uh, you can show the the um, uh, real and reactive power like this and this is the generation voltages double click on this uh, scope just this generation voltages like uh, about 2500 volts and uh, transformer voltages is shown here like this is the transformer voltages double click on this scope then these are the 132 kV transform voltages shown here and uh, for double click on the fault you can analyze different faults like uh, phase to phase fault phase to ground fault and three phase faults you can analyze them using the identity because there are many faults in the transmission systems so but there are many disadvantages of the HVAC transmission like there are many losses uh, in uh, in HVAC transmission and stability uh, stability control is not possible and uh, skin effect and many other losses makes this system inefficient for long transmission for long power transmission so in next lecture we will discuss how these limitations of the HVAC system is covered by another uh, system that is very much efficient as compared to the HVAC system. Hope you like this lecture and if you want this simulation uh, file then uh, email me I will give you this simulation form because this is this is helpful for the BS final year students and also for the thesis of the MS students so if you like this lecture then subscribe our channel share this video and comment us if you have any question thanks for watching